Okay, we are going to do problem solving 6b. Uh, we are learning how to work with um, word problems. Continued practice, it's just good to know. So let's read the problem. A one-year membership to Planet Fitness costs $460. There is a fee of $40 when you join, and the rest is paid monthly. Write an equation to represent the situation that can help members find out how much they pay per month. Okay, what are you being asked to find? We are being asked to find this last sentence. So we can use this to help me. All right. What information from the problem do you need? Well, I as a consumer know that $460 is how much I have to pay for the entire year, okay? But I also need to know that part of that year is $40 that I have to pay just once for joining, okay? But the rest of it is monthly. So the two pieces of information that I'm going to need, and I'm gonna write it in pink because I feel like it, um, the yearly fee, and I'm going to say total yearly fee is 460. Now, why am I saying total yearly fee? Because again, $40 of that total is for joining fee. Now, next question is going to be how you are going to find your answer. And I have a difficult time with this because I know that there are several different ways to do this. I know that there's some kids that are going to be able to just write it out and do repeated addition or repeated subtraction and different things like that. But I'm going to put down the way that I automatically think of it. And so if you want to pause and write down what you think and then look to see if yours kind of matches mine, that's encouraged. Um, because again, there's lots of different ways to get to the same answer. Um, I would first subtract the $40 from the 460. Then, I would need to divide what's left by the 12 months in the year. So those are using my good math vocabulary. Um, I use subtract, I use my data that they have, I use divide. Um, so remember that your, your goal is to try to use math vocabulary to your best advantage too, because when you're doing your standardized tests, that's what they look for to make you um, get the pass plus versus the pass. Provide an estimation. So that's $460. So I'm gonna say, $460 subtract, and I'm going to say maybe $400, because that's a little less. So a reasonable answer, I'm taking $400 and dividing it by 12. And I'm going to say that's approximately, which if you've never seen this little thing, it kind of looks like an equal sign, but it's squiggly, so that means approximately. Um, 400 divided by 12, well, that's a little different. I know that, oh, shoot, I know that, 360 divided by 12 would be 3. So 400 is going to be greater than 30. So I'm going to guess maybe 35. Let's see, 35 times 12, 0, 1, 7, 0, 5, 3. I get 0, 2, 1, I get 420. Oh, so yeah, <laughs> that turns out to be perfect. 
using a complete sentence, what is the answer to your problem? Now, see, my guess got me close to that. Um, so, I never wrote an equation. I just use sensible thoughts, which sometimes when you're doing problem solving, that's okay, as long as you can just get to the answer. But sometimes problems specifically ask you to figure out an equation. So, uh, since it doesn't on this one, we're not going to worry about it. I'm going to write what I did. 460 minus the $40 is 420. That's step one. That's what we agreed to. Step two was to take what's left over and divide it by 12. So 12 goes into 42 about three times. So three times 12 is 36. 42 minus 36 is eight, no, four, five, six, it's six. Bring down 60, so 60 divided by 12, or 60 divided by 12 is five. So my answer is the member will pay blank per month. And you'll put $35 per month. That's all the questions that they have.